Experiment 15 is capacitor discharge and high voltage generator. Now I can only explain the principle of this project because for some reason I, when I tried wiring it up, I don't understand what probes means when it says to connect wires three and five to probes. I wish I was able to figure that out, but this talks about how single pulses of high voltage electric energy are generated when a charged capacitor is discharged through a transformer, kind of like in a capacitor discharge car ignition system. And this will help you to understand more complicated circuits. The 470 microfarad capacitor stores up energy when the battery supply millions of electrons to the capacitor's negative electrode. And I'm just going to like show you this information. This is very complicated and I'm not familiar with it, but I'm just going to like go uh, move through it so that you can look at your own pace. And here's the wiring sequence, but I can't really understand that. It says to, once again, to connect wires three or five to the probes, but I don't know what they are. But if you have, have an idea what they are, and if you even own, and especially if you own this kit, feel free to tell me in the comments is any advice will be helpful if you have a voltage meter you can connect it I think it's like where you have you can connect it to terminals 3 and 5 of the transformer to indicate the presence of 90 volts or more an indicated voltage is held by the capacitor and released when the transformer is brought into the circuit so once again, I don't fully understand this. I'm not a big expert in electricity or electronics, but feel free to perform this project if you are familiar with its workings and assembly, of course. Experiment 16, I can demonstrate. It is capacitors in series and parallel. Capacitors are some of the most useful components in this kit and they allow electricity to be stored and released. They also enable a steady flow of power and block other current so that you can hear the effects of capacitors connected in series and parallel. Once the project is wired, set the switch to B. Now be aware that this is going to be very loud. Now it's already set and I just have to connect this wire to battery terminal 119 so please turn down your volume because this is going to be noisy I'm just going to actually put it in there because I have just one hand but the speaker sounds and in this instance electricity is flowing through the 0.1 microfarad capacitor Realize it's not one microfarads, it's point 0.1. And then we're going to push the key, and now the sound is lower pitched because the point 0.5 capacitor right here is added in parallel to the first one. And so both capacitors flow, have current flowing through them at the same time through two different channels and the total capacitance will cause the tone of the speaker to lower. Now I'm going to release the key and move the switch from B to A. Now it's going to get even louder so please be prepared. Now the sound is even higher pitched because now, the two capacitors that I just mentioned, the 0.1 and 0.5 ones, are now connected in series, and the current flows from one directly to another, and so the total capacitance in the circuit is less 
than the smallest capacitor making up the series connection. And so that's why the sound is higher. In other words, the higher the capacitance, the lower the tone, uh, the lower the pitch of the tone from the speaker. Now, don't push the key switch when the slide switch is on position A because you might damage the transistor. Experiment 17 is resistors in series and parallel. This experiment will show you what can happen when resistors, devices that limit the flow of electric current, are connected either in series or in parallel. I'm starting with the slide switch set to position A. And when the switch is set to position A, there are two 10,000 ohm resistors connected in series. When I move the slide switch to position B, a 22,000 ohm resistor is included in the circuit. Now, there's really no difference in the rate at which the LED flashes nor its brightness. That's because the two 10,000 ohm resistors connected together are very close to being equal to the 22,000 ohm resistor that is engaged when the switch is moved to the B position. However, when I press the key here, you may notice that the LED may become ever so slightly brighter. But that is because the 470,000 ohm resistor is connected to the LED in series, and this controls the flow of current to the LED. So pushing the key will connect resistor 1 as well as resistor 2, another a 100,000 ohm resistor, together in parallel, and so the total resistance will decrease the LED will be brighter because the current flowing to it increases as resistance falls. Now calculating total resistance in a parallel connection is harder than calculating resistance in a series connection and here's the equation. Now I'm going to connect terminals 13 through 14 and 14. The LED blinks faster. And now the 22,000 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the two 10,000 ohm resistors. And as a result, the resistance connected to the slide switch decreases. And so that is why the LED flashes at a higher rate. This is called a multivibrator circuit. It's an oscillator that uses components to direct current back to each other. And you now see that resistors and capacitors have opposite effects when connected in series or in parallel. Experiment 18 is light dimmer. I am going to move the slide switch to position A and gradually the LED 7 segment display will display the letter L because current from the battery has charged up the 100 microfarad capacitor right here. And then when I move the slide switch back to position B, the display will gradually dim as current discharges from the capacitor. It will take some time, but eventually the display will turn off completely as all the capacitor energy is used up. You can add different capacitors and this at that have higher values and therefore can store more energy and the display will take longer to 
come on and go off. It's very dim right now. I'm not going to do the alternative connections, but feel free to do them if you would like to. Experiment 19 is transistor switcher. In this circuit, you will see the difference in performance of the seven segment display when I change resistors and transistors. Now we have one of two PMP transistors in use as is the MPN transistor, being, which is being used as well. I am going to hold down the key switch and the seven segment display will show the number one. Now I am going to change connections here and now using a different transistor and a different resistor I am going to hold down the key switch again and this time the it may be hard to tell but I think the seven segment display is brighter because there's less resistance for the current I can change the resistors to 10,000 ohms so we're going to move these two jumper wires to this top 10k resistor and there's not real much of a difference as what is expected you can replace the battery you may need to replace the batteries if the display is dim and also when changing resistors don't go below 1000 ohms because you might burn out the transistor.